Welcome back to New Day. For decades, Ripley's Believe It or Not has been the authority on all things weird, eccentric, and amazing. Now they have a new book out cataloging even more unbelievable stories. I talked to Sabrina Seek about what's inside. Sabrina, the first thing I want to say to you is that when I was growing up in San Francisco, my favorite place to visit was the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum because I like weird stuff. You have to. Why not? There's so much weird stuff to see in there. We've got over, you know, 350,000 weird things in our collection as well. So it's just a little bit of it for you. And now you've got this book that I want to hear about. Uh, I know that uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not has been around for more than 100 years, but you've always got to dig up something new and you must have some pretty cool stuff. So it's actually the 17th edition of the Ripley's Annual, Ripley's Believe It or Not Mind Blown, and it is over 1,200 strange stories, eye-catching photos, you know, in-depth features, weird infographics, those tidbits of weird information and strange science facts all put into one spot for you. And we want to get right into it. So let's begin with Moe's, the two-legged dog. Tell me about Moe's. Oh, I love Moe's. Moe's is a rescue dog, and he stands out in a crowd. Quite literally, he was born with only two limbs and has taught himself to actually walk and run on his two hind legs. So sometimes you see pets hopping, you know. Right. Moe's actually is putting one foot in front of the other, and it is something you have to see to believe. Unbelievable. I believe it, though. Um, Lady Beast. Now, apparently, this is out of New Orleans, another place that I used to live. So tell me about Lady Beast. Yeah, Lady Beast is a circus artist out of New Orleans, and she does a circus art that I haven't seen in a really long time. It's called bottle walking. Mm. So she takes, you know, champagne bottles and smaller beer bottles and actually walks atop them, balances on them, dances on them, and has, she's really brought this almost Prohibition-era circus act back to life. She's also the only woman to ever do a straitjack escape from a hot air balloon, 10 stories in the sky. So she is uh, quite a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, you could devote a couple chapters to her, it sounds like. Definitely. Uh, what is this that I'm seeing about dyed dogs? These are dogs that are perfectly alive. They're just uh, colorful, I guess. Yeah, so Anise Hayden, she is a dog groomer out of Atlanta, Georgia, and she takes it to kind of unique and really creative length so she turns her dogs into different animals like zebras giraffes panda bears oh. lisa frank inspired masterpieces even otherworldly creatures like mermaids it's actually a, a pretty good thing for halloween if you guys are down to get creative with your pet that's great you know it's not just halloween season it's also football season and there's a chapter or at least a segment devoted to something called freestyle football yes so this is actually american soccer um, not the football that we'd be watching on Saturdays and Sundays, but it's combining soccer with acrobatics and dance. And we've worked with Caitlin Sheffer and Patrick Shaw, who are two of the best people in acrobatic football, freestyle football. They've won all of these awards. Caitlin's actually one of the few females in the sport and the top U.S. female athlete, um, second of the world. This is so fun. Let's keep going. Um, Mind-boggling skateboard. That's... That's the next topic. What, is that, what does yeah. that even refer to? <laughs> so that's Matt Tomasello. He is a skateboarder from Boston. And instead of just, you know, thrashing and shredding on his board, he takes it to a kind of science-y, you know, level. And he makes different contraptions with them, trap doors, different springs. So he can do tricks that wouldn't be possible without them and just show off when he hits the slopes. It's crazy. Uh, I think we have time for at least one more. So let's talk about this painting parrot. Yes, that is Koa the parrot. And Koa has been taught dozens of tricks. Um, painting is just one of them, but he actually paints on really small canvases, puts the brush in his beak. He's got a tiny easel and miniature paint brushes and <laughs> just paints away. But Koa can also bowl. Koa can play basketball. It is the sweetest little bird you've ever seen. Well, on that note, believe it or not, that does it for us today. Remember to get those ballots in. In the meantime, stick around for King 5 News at noon, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at 11.